What up everybody? This is Charlie. If you didn't notice, I am watching my mom's dog for the weekend, so I've got um, little pebbles. I love her. Um, she's great. Just loud. Anyways, happy Pride Month everyone. I was happy to see some of you at Pride. That was a cool experience. Run into like the YouTube fam. Yeah, it's always good to just be like around other queer people, my people. I feel like it feels good. It was a good experience, something I needed. I needed to just like get away and get out of the pressure of being in the cis world and like people assuming things and not assuming things and like, I don't know. The daily struggles of being trans. Y'all know what it's like out here in these streets. But what I really wanted to make this video about is the other stuff I've been dealing with lately. I've just been having a lot of bottom dysphoria, which is like a relatively new thing for me. I think that my bottom dysphoria has grown in the, along the same lines as my transition. This coming out journey, I like like a lot of people identified as a butch lesbian and at that point I was just like I don't want boobs and I'm gonna do what I want to do to get rid of those so I did that and that made me feel more confident to start exploring other things and that's when I started to get on testosterone and like that made me more confident and then that from there I started packing and that made me more confident and like working out and like starting to like build my chest and stuff like that has made me more confident and so like I think as I've been able to live the life that I want to live I've felt more confident before I didn't dare to hope you know like I didn't want to open myself up to being disappointed but then as I started to actually transition and as my life started to become like a reality it like opened me up to okay yeah like this is this is like nice this is how I'm living I got to a place where I was like okay so the sky's the limit I can have whatever I want um I can be have everything lined up Things coming together has made the things that haven't come together feel a lot worse. So I think that's where my dysphoria has come in. Especially with packing, um, I feel good when I pack. And I am really disappointed when packers and STPs and like all that stuff just doesn't work out for me. And the thing is, they just never will because that's not what I want. I want something to be on me and I want it to like be part of my life and part of my everyday experience and so the sky is not actually the limit. Like there there are very hard limits to to what is able to happen and like I'm realizing that packers and STPs and like all of these prosthetics that are made to alleviate dysphoria are never gonna quite do it for me so I've been thinking about phalloplasty or like metoidio or like any sort of bottom surgery when it comes to bottom surgery another thing that I'm really worried about is the risks involved um, for myself I am just I know that I can't go through a lot of complications and I don't think that science is in a place to give me everything that I want um, without having to go through a lot of struggle to get there. And I don't know, in my life I'm just not trying to add any more struggle to it. So a big thing for me is the risks involved and there's some things that I'm just not willing to risk. like. I'm not willing to do any sort of urethroplasty or like changing any of that type stuff around. It's just not worth it for me. Um, I'll figure something else out 
what's more important for me is like just to not have to walk around with silicone every day or like to not have to pack and have something that's not connected to me or not part of my body. So I'm still in the beginning stages of all this and trying to figure it out mentally and do the research, but um, it's, just a, it's just an emotional time, I think. A lot to be excited about and a, and a lot also to mourn and to be realistic about and to figure out what, I don't know, figure out where those things meet and what they look like for me and for my life and for my family and for what we're able to take on for ourselves. Like I did recently order a gender mender packer and I'll make a review of that at some point. Um, I'm trying to do more um, SCP and packer videos in general because I know that it helps people who are like trying to figure this stuff out and I am too. Then this also makes me think about my gender and not necessarily for myself but because that's always the inevitable question that whenever I make changes for my body people always ask me okay so does that mean that you're questioning your gender does that mean that like your gender's changing or are you not not binary anymore and no like well I mean like of course I'm not but I'm always gonna just be me and I am non-binary. But I think for me, it's complicated. I don't know. I feel like in a different place and in a, in a different time, I may have identified as a trans man, but I just don't. And there are things about that identity and experience that are missing for me. So I don't feel comfortable claiming that title. Um, I think I feel great in the community and like I vibe with it because a lot of the things that I want for my body are on those same, are along those same tracks. But I think that my body and my, and like what I, my gender identity and my gender expression and the way that I see myself is just way more complicated than than just the label of man or just the label of woman and I feel so confident in that but like still the idea of phalloplasty or the idea of like any sort of bottom surgery still makes that complicated for me. Um, one of the things though that is interesting uh, idea that I've I've been thinking about is that like in the research I found bottom surgery in certain ways and like in certain forms is affirming for me as a non-binary person because it's sort of the best of both worlds like I can have um, I don't know there, there are things that are possible it does make me think of like when I was really young and I first heard of people who had mixed or androgynous genitalia from birth and how I was like, hmm, okay, yeah, like I vibe with that. I vibe with that as a concept because it's how I, f I feel, this like mixing of both worlds. And so I think that bottom surgery is a possibility for that, but it also is a scary possibility and does have risks involved. Uh, yeah, like like I said before, I just need to figure out which ones I'm willing to, to take on and which ones I'm not. But even as a young child, I was like, sign me up. But <laughs> I think back then I didn't know what was possible and like what I would have to give up. And, and there are risks. And so I'll keep y'all posted on what I decide and... If y'all have any like thoughts or questions that you think of like that would help me in my research or that you guys just want to know, I um, am open to those. You can put those in the comments below. But yeah, uh, that's it for me. Um, definitely like and subscribe. Also, I hear that now there's like a bell thing. So if you guys want to get updates when I post new videos, Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can 
uh, figure out when those are coming, and yeah, besides that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.